or top cat. Put a lot of hours on this thing, as you can see. Uh, well, the hoses, you can see all this crap on it. Well, most of the hoses have burst by now. You know, they just use a cheap, cheaper hydraulic hose. So if these going through here, I put this on to keep them from rubbing on the holes, but they still burst. So we ordered new hoses. It's hard to get, you know, the right fittings here for that conversion to the American size couplers. And the fitting here is some weird Chinese thing. So as far as getting hoses made, that isn't easy. We've actually spliced some of them. This one here, you can see the fitting in there. We're able to splice that because it's a three quarter inch hose. Keep that going, but I got a whole new set from AGT. You can order their stuff in Alabama, you know, Alababa replacement teeth. Um, so I've replaced a lot of teeth, it goes through them pretty quick when you're using it. They're like be ordered, but smaller tooth. Like, my main thing was this yeah, when I got it, it vibrated so bad because the disc is actually warped and uh. I took it in to the local machine shop and said, yeah, we can balance it. And so, I was leaving it with them. And then they come back with me. Oh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of time in it, 4000 bucks, And not sure how well it balanced. And so, I got it home. And, yeah, it still vibrated. The disc is actually warped. So, what can you do? I mean, it was balanced a little better. At certain speeds, it didn't vibrate as much. And I'll usually use this thing on uh, low flow. Uh, comes in pretty handy for that. Just kind of creep around. You can use it on low flow, low RPM, and not using a lot of power. And has quite a range at the motor. You can use it on high flow, but you know, vibrates so bad then. Plus, on high flow, the way my machine was, it wouldn't quite do the tilt up for some reason with the high flow going. It's like most too much power is going into the high flow to have enough for those tilt cylinders to to lift this thing up. So I usually use it even if it's on a high high RPM on the low flow and works pretty good. But I'm just saying the in the motor on it, which I can't remember if it's been ask axis in there, but it has quite a range. You see this all buggered up. Tried to weld those; they got pushed off. Not stout enough the push bar, but now I prefer to use it without the push bar, uh, so I can see better what I'm doing and just. Careful, go around. I'll push it with these lips here, the trees, if I need to push them over. So, this is handy because it's kind of light, you know, I think it's like 1800 pounds. So, kind of agile and light for doing a lot of things for the money, but it'll vibrate the heck out of your machine. I don't know if all of them are like that or if they've managed to do some without a warp disc. I put quite a few hours on this, probably 80 hours. The one I've used the most out of the three I have. But my son was using this pretty quick. You know, he'd abuse him, hit a tree limb or something up from underneath, and pushing up and fell right off. Luckily, it didn't take off. So you can see this uh, mount has been. Uh, reinforced with these plates so that they'd stay on so definitely recommend that at first you're gonna risk on these now i have to stay in about top cat or the agt same thing they get a few other brands you know selling on richie brothers or quite a few places now but i bought this this thing you know a simpler unit it's built pretty well grapple done used it quite a bit now and it's works fine so you know depends on what you're buying if you're going to buy the uh complex not that complex but you know definitely heavy duty needs to be made well mulcher taking a risk but these kind of things pretty good for the money finally anyway that's my top cat experience top cat mulcher forestry mulcher